This video demonstrates the use of a joystick interfaced with Arduino to control output devices. The joystick will be used to control a servo motor, a buzzer, and some LEDs. The analog joystick uses two potentiometers connected together, one for the vertical movement y-axis and the other for horizontal movement x-axis. The joystick also comes with a select switch. In microcontroller applications, the joystick can be handy for robot control. The pinouts of the analog joystick include ground and 5 volt pins, the X pin and the Y pin which are connected to the analog inputs of the Arduino and we have the switch pin which is connected to the digital input of Arduino. The X pin and the Y pin of the joystick are connected to analog pins A7 and A6 respectively and the switch pin is connected to digital pin 2 of the Arduino. A servo motor is connected to digital pin 3 of the Arduino. Three LEDs are connected to pins 4, 5 and 6 and finally we have an active buzzer connected to digital pin 7 of the Arduino. The system operates as follows. Moving the joystick in the X direction moves the servo motor. Moving the joystick in the Y direction controls the on and off of the LEDs. In the middle position of the joystick the green LED will be on. When the joystick is down the blue LED will be on and when the joystick is up the red LED will be on. And finally pressing the switch uh, button on the uh, joystick will sound the alarm on the buzzer. And now for a quick demonstration. A quick look at the C++ program used in this project. In the loop function, the first thing we do is to check the status of the joystick switch. If the switch is pressed, then we activate the buzzer. Next, we read the joystick X movement and accordingly move the servo motor. Next, we read the joystick Y movement and accordingly uh, turn on either the green LED or the blue LED or the red LED. There are a lot of applications for the analog joystick in an Arduino environment. One useful application would be to move a cursor on a graphic display. Thank you for watching.